Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. Heal Talk Tuesdays, uh, I come live every Tuesday, and I've been coming live for the past five and a half years. And uh, here we are, ending another year uh, with so much happening in the world. Um, Heal Talk Tuesdays, was created to bring you education, information about health and wellness, especially in my realm of what I do in the world of hypnotherapy, stress management, and yes, women's wellness. So one of the things that I've been talking about, most of my clients have been coming and I've gotten calls Uh, A few of my clients that I've been seeing this month has been very much on the holidays and the stress that it's happening, especially when it affects us um, mentally, emotionally, and the result is a physical element. And yes, our mental aptitude, our mental wellness, and our emotional reaction is uh, has a direct line a direct causation to how our body reacts and it the pain that manifests in our body so he'll talk tuesday has been going on for over five years and i've talked about so many different um topics um uh, especially on women's wellness i work with children with fears and anxieties and children also have stress teenagers have different stressors nowadays parents have different stressors and uh, definitely we as adults uh, our stress level is different but did you know that the number one stress that we as adults face is not so much our own health and wellness but of our own um, family members, our loved ones. So their health and wellness affects us more than ever before. So let's talk about what is going on and how it affects us. And I love to bring metaphors. You know I talk about metaphors and I do a lot of things with metaphors. So one of the things that I have created, this lotus symbol of mine, and I like to say who we are, how we react, and everything is so similar to our healing. And the lotus represents exactly Uh, like a metaphor to healing because the lotus flower is very much similar uh, to the healing process that we go through and when we are stressed when we are anxious everything affects how we blossom how we heal and how we open up to express instead of suppressing now you know the lotus the beginning of the lotus when it's upside down it's it grows in the murkiest of waters and its roots and everything is deep into the mud uh, so a part of evoking is is that entire thing because it's face down right and that in itself means so much of our stress and anxieties our pain everything that we feel if it is negative we have learned to suppress and the first beginning the butt that it it's ready to turn over it's it's accepting and acknowledging before accepting it's acknowledging that there is an issue that there is a pain that you are feeling there is an anxiety that is going on so that an acknowledgement in itself is the beginning of this so 
for any change to happen, we need to face reality. So opening yourself to this self-expression, opening yourself to acknowledgement is the start of your transformation. Just like the lotus, when it's ready to turn and it's never ready until it's time. So a lot of people can say, go see a therapist or go make a change. Why don't you change your behavior? Change does not happen until you are ready for it. And truly, it's like the readiness, right? So when a lotus is partially open, I like to say it as they surface, even through the murkiest water, which is the most negative, the harshest times of your life, that flower, the opening is realizing that you are ready to not only acknowledge it, but see the reality, truly see the reality instead of denying what's been happening and suppressing your emotions, suppressing the pain factor or whatever it is, um, it's to embrace this reali reality, which is symbolizing this consciousness. And it's gradually peeling away or opening, right? And through embracing and accepting your reality, even though it is tough, because even when we go to the gym and exercise, from the first day, we don't have a six pack within a week. It's impossible. So the muscle, um, just like any pain factor, will resist. And you have muscle that it will have pain because maybe the first day or second day you won't feel it. The After the second day, your muscle will start aching and it's breaking through the pain, breaking through what was norm to acknowledge or to start training a new set of behavior, a new set of way of being for the muscles or emotions or the mental aptitude that really matters. And through embracing and accepting this, you get to reconnect as a whole. So what I call embracing the reality is very crucial to the beginning of the healing. We can deny just about anything, but accepting the reality and facing everything is where the start is. That's where the lotus starts opening up. And when the lotus is ready to come to full bloom is signifies the journey that you are on the path for healing, for the transformation, for the change. So it may not take just one month, but to have a six pack, to have a healthier body, you ha also have to change your sleep, uh, the patterns for sleep, the patterns for eating, the patterns for behavior, when you wake up, what you do. So a whole routine changes if you want a physical uh, body change or an emotional and mental change, right? So despite the past, despite the roots, despite the murkiest of water, when the lotus starts blooming and it comes to a full bloom, you know what happens? You see the widest, beautiful lotus there is because the lotus opens and floats gracefully on that water. When a lotus is just floating down the river or on the water that it's glistening, it's already clean. We don't see the deep water. We don't see the dirt on a lotus. And that's exactly what happens when we are ready to make that change. So 
when we are ready to release the emotional pain and I help my clients gracefully navigate what I call the emotional and mental weight that has been weighing them down because it's now paining them physically. That in itself is the readiness because stress is a reaction to any kind of a change. And when you get stressed, what do you do? You either drink and eat and uh, uh, the, you know, I wish most of us when we're stressed would go running we'd go and pick up exercising some do but that in itself is a reaction so how can we take actions instead of reacting one of the things is have a plan have a plan when knowing when you are stressed usually getting to know yourself that when you get stressed what is it that you do and have a plan that ah i realize this has triggered me i am under stress because believe it or not i don't know how you react to stress because uh, there's good stress there's bad stress good stress can be marriage it can be a birthing and as a matter of fact stress affects our body uh, it affects fertility or infertility actually and a lot of moms uh, who want to get pregnant when they're stressing about something else which is an underlying subconscious um, block it also blocks them from getting pregnant and that's if it is not anything medically wrong then it is a mental and emotional block truly the body shuts down and of course I've talked about this so many many times there is no way that the body your body does anything to harm you your body reacts to what you think and what you feel just like a lotus when it's ready to turn over when it's ready to come to full bloom if there is an underlying negative emotions negative patterns negative disbelief or fear then the body will do everything to protect you in order for the fertility not to happen i know it sounds odd and yet you know um, they they used to say if you want to get pregnant make sure you are relaxed go on a vacation don't even think about it go make love and that's exactly what it is it's realizing that there is a stress factor that affects your nervous system it affects your body it affects your emotions it affects your sleep pattern everything this body of yours it's like the most in, uh, precise machine and yet it's not a machine um, everything works together every emotion every uh, nerve every cell every molecule everything it's so it's like that most preci precision uh, machinery that there is so one small little thing if it goes uh, different it affects you it affects the way you think you feel you behave so if you are ready and if there's been blocks or if there is, you've been having a difficulty there's stress factor in your environment in your home with your relationship with the person everything affects 
how your body reacts to getting pregnant and your body going through the cycle of the pregnancy and accepting the pregnancy, the egg, the fertility, everything. So this entire process and I'm going to bring an expert, we're going to be talking about this, but I just wanted to talk about the stress factor today. And that affects why I brought it up is the holiday blues, right? So a lot of people are stressing the holidays are here uh, about expectations of buying gifts, about expectations of money, what's happening, and economy so all these expectations that are happening it also brings someone going from full bloom into shutting down and suppressing emotions and wanting to go into that quietness and hibernation so that's when we go into depression it's like the flower closing down facing downwards and seeing nothing except darkness, except what's underneath. We all go into that level. We all experience this exact thing. Some of us come up and resurface out of that water faster and so can you. So there are few things that you can do to help yourself um, and recognize that emotional aspect of it, the emotional eating, the hormonal influence, the coping mechanisms that you can create for, uh, for yourself is very crucial to your healing, to uh, feeling better. So managing stress is the first key. And it's a perception, right? So keep your stress in check, no matter if it is from having a baby to holiday blues to being where you are. And create hobbies. Get a massage. Relax do your physical activities if you want to run uh, if you want to meditate uh, if you sleep five six hours see if you can manage sleeping better i've got audio recordings that you can go to my website and download deep sleep uh, or stress no more it helps you sleep better release stress relax and unwind in the comfort of your home. It's half an hour, but all you need is half an hour. And when you close your eyes, and this direct suggestion goes directly within not only what you hear, but it affects every nerve and every muscle, every organ, and taps into your subconscious mind especially if you are auditory and you like to listen to things instead of reading, it will magnify the message that you receive, how to relax and how to unwind. As a matter of fact, every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue in your body will also learn how to un undo itself and relax just for the duration of the relaxation. As a matter of fact, um, one of the audio recordings that I have for deep sleep is to give your body and your mind permission to sleep deeply, even if it is for three to four hours, but the deep sleep that you do and your subconscious feels safe your body feels safe, you feel safe, and those suggestions given to your nervous system is like affirming I am safe because that's one of the biggest factors of 
allowing yourself to relax and feel good. And when your body is open, it feels safe, it feels relaxed, then not only you have more joy, you have more relaxation, not only to get pregnant, but the whole process of that, but also feel refreshed when you awaken from the deep sleep that you are more rejuvenated and relaxed to have a better day. So yoga in itself is the same thing. You know, a part of what we do in deep breath, breathing exercises, taking a nice deep breath, holding it for four counts and exhaling like blowing a candle, it's almost the same as people who you who smoke taking that nice deep breath in holding swallowing that saliva and then releasing it so this breath work when you get to do it with instead of smoke into your body but oxygen more oxygen and vitality into your body and all that can be a perception breathing in and exhaling exhaling negativity pain exhaling fears exhaling stress and worries and doubt right so when we release all that and delve deeper and when you have a nice deep sleep of four to five hours and awaken fresh refreshed you can tackle so much more of your day and feel more rejuvenated so massage does the same thing because when you're getting a massage your body is relaxing you feel the muscles relax and all the pores on your body open up and if there is any aroma or something like that, that it's being massaged into your skin, which is the biggest organ in your body. That's why when you go to hotels, that's why when you go places, or even if a perfume that you enjoy opens all your senses, lavender does that, uh, eucalyptus does that. Those are all the things, even when you walk in a place and you smell the food that reminds you of something, aroma affects your senses. And realizing these all affect you without, re without acknowledging it, it's a subconscious messaging to yourself, to your body, to every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every cell, every molecule in your body opens to messages of sound, sight, smell, taste, and touch. And when it feels good, it's magic. You are the magic. There is nothing blocking you except the perception of that emotional and mental block that affects us physically. So if this makes sense, and if you feel that you are ready to awaken for that lotus to come from deep places of the murkiness, and feeling insecure, depressed, stressed, physically or mentally or emotionally, I am here to guide you and together lift that lotus up to blossom and flow and float. So if this makes sense, by all means, I know I speak a lot in metaphors but this is exactly who we are. We visualize, we conceptualize, and then we go and achieve what we believe. My name is Lisa Bubari. 
I'm your expert hypnotherapist in helping you overcome that emotional and mental block and become better than ever before because that's where transformation begins. I look forward to working with you and if there is anything that I can answer by all means realize the power to make any change is within you. Tap into the subconscious mind and you will see what you can create consciously. We can do this. And until next week, I wish you all the best and tune in next week because next week I have this amazing guest, Lady Jen Duplessis. And we will be talking about so much, not only about women's wellness, but as a leadership and how we can make changes in our life to excel in further becoming what we desire. Until next week, I bid you goodbye. Have an amazing week and happy holidays. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. And if you like this, share it, subscribe, and go to YouTube, and you'll see the rest of all my podcasts.